Anatomy and Physiology with James. Today we will be discussing the EKG diagram that you'll see in hospitals. And with me I have my lovely assistant, Patricia Hubel. Uh, the way this works is very simple. It is a diagram representing electrical impulses generated by the heart. These electrical impulses are carried out in a synchronized fashion in order for the heart to contract properly. That is, the atria will contract first, then the ventricles. The way we see it is by way of electrocardiogram. Okay, so let's start, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is have, make sure our iWorks apparatus is set up. Here it is, the program has been loaded. And what I will do now is attach these electrodes to Patricia. What these electrodes represent is a, con a confirmation of a triangle. It's called Einthofen's triangle. And the reasoning behind it is that the heart supposedly resides in a triangle. So action potentials or electrical impulses that are generated by the heart that resides in a triangle will have at its vertices the electrical impulses. So uh, ideally speaking, her right and left hand will, uh, will uh, represent the electrical impulses along the horizontal axis, and the electrode that will go on her ankle will represent the electrical impulses that are going along the vertical axis of the triangle. So here are the electrodes. Before I apply the electrodes, I want to make sure her wrists and ankles are clean. So what I will do is take this alcohol swab, okay, apply it to her wrist and the ankle, like so. Okay, let it dry a little bit, give it time to, to air dry. pretty dry and then I will take these electrodes the red electrode will be applied to her right wrist like so okay the black electrode will be applied to her left wrist like so and the ground electrode, or the green electrode, will be applied to her right ankle, like so. Okay, then I will ask her to relax with her palms up. Okay, be relaxed. And then I will record her electrocardiogram in the beginning it will be fairly slow and uh, as she relaxes it will improve I'll just adjust the auto scale and if you zoom in on this you see her, her electrocardiogram looks pretty standard okay you got that or? If you zoom in we can see it's a steady rhythm which is good. This is what we want in a healthy body, in a healthy heart, okay? Uh, she might have smiled recently or, or made some uh, muscular movements, but here it is. It's returning to normal. Okay, we'll give it some time. Okay. And there it is. I will stop it and analyze because what I have are at least four, that's one, two, three, four, and that's five cycles that look Good, they're in a constant rhythm, okay? And so, here now, we will look at this one. Let's look at this peak, okay? Are you zoomed in? Good. This is called the P wave. The P wave represents a action potential generated at the SA node, or what is often referred to as the pacemaker of the heart. You'll notice that that electrical current, that impulse, decreases and flattens out. That flattening out represents a uh, delay in action potential sequence. So that delay is taking place at the AV node. Okay? For, it's about a 0.1 millisecond delay. The AV node will then 
send action potentials to the bundles, the AV bundles. And here this value is called Q, begins to rise. As it rises, the Purkinje fibers begin to fire. And the Purkinje fibers, upon uh, excitation, will contract the ventricles. And that contraction or that firing of the Purkinje fibers is represented at this point right here. It's called the QRS complex. Q R S complex. That is a strong indicator that the action potential was sent through the, throughout the walls of the ventricles. It does not mean, however, that the ventricles contracted. It simply means that an action potential was sent to the ventricles. Then, that decreases. The QRS, QRS complex falls, drops, the uh, current flow drops, and it gives us the T wave. Okay, the T wave represents repolarization. And for a discussion on action potentials, repolarization, refer to my discussion on the nervous system on my website. It is orinjames.com. That is www.orinjames.com.